Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Silk D O Double G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my God, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I'm so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. I think we all know by now that last month, Cassie alleged in court documents that Diddy urged her to take Uggs, that he beat her, and forced her to have intercourse with male ex-workers, if you know what I mean, while filming the encounters, if you know what I mean. Wow. She further claimed that Diddy forced himself into her home and aped her in 2018. Wow, wow, wow. Mind you, she's saying that the long pattern of abuse began when she was only 19 and when he was 37, you know, the age that she's at now. And while he was allegedly aping her, she was saying no repeatedly and kept trying to push him off of her to no success. So traumatizing. And this is the same year that they had broken up after being together for over a decade. So this is probably what led to their breakup, I mean clearly. The rabbit hole does go deep and Cassie was basically demanding $30 million. And Diddy quickly, on the other hand, settled out of court immediately. He didn't waste no time, which was clearly in hopes that the story won't fester or whatever. And plus, paying up that fast leads folks to believe that it must be true, because if not, why not fight for the truth, right? But here's what his attorney had to say in response to that. He said, just so we're clear, a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat out denial of the claims. He is happy that they got to a mutual settlement and wishes Miss Ventura the best. Hmm. But now, y'all know how the Me Too movement goes, right? It's like people are afraid to share their stories about someone, especially one who has a good rep, has money, is a legend, or is famous, but it just takes that one person to start and it won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Others would be like, you too? Me too, right? So it didn't take long for a second accuser and even a third one to come out days later. And it's the same story. He ugged them, took advantage, recorded it, let others hit too, and then took every measure to get them not to speak out about it, including oaking them. And we're talking back to 1991 that these women are claiming that these things happened. Now, since these came out, Diddy has stayed quiet on social media as I'm sure he was advised to, probably hoping that it will eventually fade away, but nope, there's more. More people that he's encountered in the past are now having the guts to share their bad experiences and they're not letting up. And the most recent one, the fourth victim to file a lawsuit is the most damaging one thus far and will surely be the one to take Diddy down, especially if he really did these things. And Diddy has finally broke his silence because he knows that this one will indeed finish his whole empire. Why? Well, because she was 17 years old and she got receipts. She ain't playing. She has dated proof that she encountered Diddy at 17. She was on his lap inappropriately in these dated photos when he was 34, twice her age. And her age does check out at the time of these suspicious photos of her all up in Diddy's space when she shouldn't have been there, especially at her age. So her story will really stand up in court, okay? She is going by Jane Doe and has blurred her face out for her protection. But basically, in the lawsuit, Doe claims that she was in high school and was out with friends at a club in Detroit, Michigan in 2003 when she first met Pierre, Harv Pierre, the former president of Combs Bad Boy Entertainment, who told her that she was hot and insisted that his best friend and brother, Combs, would love to meet her. He then called Combs, she claimed, and put her on the phone with the star who told her that she should fly to NYC with Pierre. She agreed to this, but alleges she was forced to give Pierre, who had been smoking crack, oral before she boarded a flight to Teterboro Airport in New Jersey. Upon landing, she says, she was taken to Daddy's House Recording Studio, owned by Combs and Bad Boy, where she was piled with Uggs and alcohol by Combs, Pierre and the third assailant, who had flown with her and Pierre. The filing reads, as the night wore on, the 17-year-old Miss Doe became more and more inebriated, eventually to the point that she could not possibly have consented to having ex with anyone, much less someone twice her age. It claims that she was aped first in the bathroom at the studios by Combs, who removed her undies and forced himself on her as she was hung over a sink. While at the studio, Ms. Doe was gang aped by Mr. Combs, the third assailant, and Mr. Pierre in that order. While Mr. Combs was aping Ms. Doe, he complained that he could not get off unless she pinched his nipples as hard as she could. Wow. There's more? 
The filing alleges that Mr. Combs then watched as the third assailant, who Ms. Doe had not even realized had begun to have X with her, aped Ms. Doe as she told him to stop. After the third assailant was finished, Mr. Pierre took his turn at aping Ms. Doe and then violently forced her to give him oral, during which Ms. Doe was choking and struggling to breathe. When Mr. Pierre finished, he left Ms. Doe in the bathroom alone. Ms. Doe fell into the fetal position and lay on the floor. Her V was in pain. She could barely stand up following the alleged gang ape and was helped into a car which took her back to the airport. She said that she had limited recollection of getting back to Michigan. That's crazy. Diddy and Harf Pierre had some serious explaining the do. Oh wait, so within an hour of Diddy finding out that Jane Doe had filed this lawsuit yesterday, Diddy immediately responded and here's what he had to say. He wrote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things that's being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things that's being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Mm. I mean, he did turn his comments off because he doesn't want to hear it. Last month, Cassie alleged in court documents that Diddy urged her to take Uggs, that he beat her, and forced her to have intercourse with male ex-workers, if you know what I mean, while filming the encounters, if you know what I mean. Wow. She further claimed that Diddy forced himself into her home and ate her in 2018. Wow, wow, wow. Mind you, she's saying that the long pattern of abuse began when she was only 19 and when he was 37, you know, the age that she's at now. And while he was allegedly aping her, she was saying no repeatedly and kept trying to push him off of her to no success. So traumatizing. And this is the same year that they had broken up after being together for over a decade. So this is probably what led to their breakup. I mean, clearly. He doesn't want to hear it. But if these claims are true, then he's about to see some more Me Too's and about to watch his whole empire crumble to the ground. But if he is innocent, as he claims to be, then wouldn't that be awful? As he already stepped down from revolt, and that's just the beginning for this 54-year-old. But do y'all buy that he's innocent, or do y'all think that Diddy didn't? Do y'all buy that he's innocent, or do y'all think that Diddy didn't? Do y'all think that Diddy didn't? We want to know your thoughts overall, so leave them below, like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. PettyBlog.com, signing out.